The truth of the matter is, although a lot of us like to think that we can survive on our own, we just can't, right? We need other people. Human beings are social beings, right? We thrive off of each other and we need social contact in order to survive. We can't, we actually can't survive on our own. We just need that social contact and that social interaction. Even if it's just being around other people, not even just, not even talking to them. Uh, a little bit of a story for you guys. I work out really early in the morning and I go to the gym. When I go to the gym, I don't want anyone talking to me because it's so early in the morning and I'm typically not a talkative morning person. <laughs> so when I go to the gym, I go at like five or six in the morning, I'm working out, I don't talk to anyone, and there might be two or three other people in the gym as well. Now I had done it, I moved in this particular gym. I had went there for the first week, the second week, and throughout the first, second, third, fourth week, it was the same two or three people that would be at that gym all the time. And I didn't realize it because I never spoke to them. We were just around each other in the same gym, and the gym isn't all that large, but uh, we were always kind of like in close proximity in comparison to like a larger gym. And what happened was, by the time By the fifth or sixth time of me being at the gym, it almost became as though we knew each other even though we had never spoken. It was the strangest phenomenon I had ever really experienced and I didn't experience it on purpose. I, came, I walked into the gym and one day they just said, hey, how are you doing today? We, we missed you. And I was thinking in my head, you missed me, this is it. You know, because I, I, I had never spoken to these people before. And it was the way they approached me and the way they said, hey, how are you doing today? Because I had missed the previous day and they said, we, we missed you, you, didn't, you weren't here yesterday. Um, one, of, one, of the, one of their names was Mark and, and uh, she was like, Mark was, was wondering where you were. And you know, so building these connections without even talking to people it, it's happening without you even knowing it just by being around someone so if you like someone that feeling increases every single time you're around them drastically just by being around them you don't even have to say anything it's quite amazing I didn't say a word to them and yet that connection was being built just by my presence there, my presence around them. Humans are social beings, we're social creatures, we weren't created to live or be alone, and so therefore, we actually can't do it successfully, we just can't, right? We need other people. So when your body is telling you, or when you're feeling lonely, that's essentially your body and your mind telling you that you need more social interaction. It's especially difficult in today's day and age where technology is pretty much all that we know, especially for millennials. Uh, technology, the internet, we're at home most of the time because most of what we would have had to get out of the house to do, we can now do from the comforts of our own home. Even just something as simple as paying the bill, we can just get online, get on our phone and get the bills paid. We don't even have to go to the bank and do or suffer through that internet suffer through that interaction. In today's day and age, the epidemic of loneliness has drastically increased because of the type of impact that technology is now having on our lives. And a lot more of our kids and younger kids are spending a lot more time in front of our computers and are not getting enough of that social interaction. A lot of kids are feeling a lot more lonely and they are getting a lot more depressed and the numbers are going up when it comes to suicide rates and uh, depression rates and things of that nature. So it's actually affecting a lot of things. Now, humans are social beings, we need social interaction and that's essentially what our body is telling us when we feel lonely.